Dumb Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of tennis. So y'all check this out. Alexander Sverdlov, baby, wins the ATP Masters, right, in London. You know, that's the tournament with the final eight, you know, and he wins the tournament, beating Djokovic in straight set 6-4, 6-3. Coming off of that 7-6, 7-6 win after uh, beating uh, uh, your boy Roger Federer in the semifinals. Okay? That's telling you I'm on right now. Ain't nobody beating Roger Federer and Djokovic in a row if their name's not Nadal. Right? That just not happened. You know, how many people have that on their resume? A half. That's awesome to come to this tournament like that and win in this tournament. And this is a guy who's beaten these guys before. You know, Sredlev is someone, one of the young guns. They call him the next genes. He's one of the next genes. Dominic Team is one of them. He was in the tournament as well. Uh, you know, that people have been saying that they're going to about to get their thing going on sooner or later. This guy's only 21 years old. What is he, about six foot seven? You know, he handles this business. He's a, he's a good player and uh, is someone to watch. And this is official. And I mean, let me be, be real. Man's from Germany. Shoot, the last time a German won that, that uh, Masters tournament, right? 1995 or 96, Boris Becker, right? This has to be the top three German things that ever happened. Because if your name ain't Boris Becker winning the Wimbledon at 17 years old and winning about five or six Grand Slam tournaments, or Michael Stish, right? Shoot, this is the third biggest thing, right? Because Michael Stish won Wimbledon two at least once or twice. But uh, other than that, there ain't no Grand Slams in Germany from no dudes. Right, and so so this is not a grand slam, but this is the fifth grand slam. This is the guys who get the most points throughout the year. They meet in two groups and they handle their business, right? And the best comes out of this. So this is the uh, biggest tournament Germany has won in a while. So this is the third biggest thing a German men's tennis player has done. So you're gonna have to give him love for that. This is somebody to watch, and I, that goes without saying. Now, right? Goes without saying. Now, baby. Now. I got three reasons why you still put your brakes on this. Put your brakes on him like, oh, being the next number one or, oh, he's definitely going to win multiple Grand Slams. That's what I mean by putting your brakes on it. And I got a couple of reasons. Three major reasons and probably a few reasons might filter in. One reason is there's been a few uh, players who won a, um, a Masters tournament, Right. Didn't win no, no Grand Slam or maybe won one Grand Slam. Remember David Nabalian, right? Nabalian, dude from Argentina, bad, bad dude from Argentina. He won one. I don't remember him winning no Grand Slam, though. Remember Davidenko, bad Russian dude, counter puncher, right? Young, was losing his hair already, but even though he was young, bad. He won one of these. I don't remember Davidenko winning no Grand Slam. Now, I could be mistaken, but I don't remember that didn't win no Grand Slam, right? And here, Gregor Dimitrov, he won one. He won the Masters last year or the year before. And we've been saying he about to have a breakthrough for years, right? He won a Masters. He ain't won no Grand Slam either. And the other one is the one who won this year, uh, Swerviv. He has never been past the quarterfinals of a Grand Slam. He didn't just get good a, a day ago, although I wouldn't mention He's got Yvonne Lindo in his corner now since August. Yvonne Lindo. Well, don't even try. Yvonne Lindo could be people probably for years from the baseline. Now, Yvonne Lindo won every tournament you could have except for Wimbledon. He tried hard back in the day. He won them all. He couldn't get Wimbledon, though. McEnroe and them was in, you know, then Edberg came later and them kind of people just kept getting in his way, serving volleyers. But he was from the baseline. He was trying. Everywhere else, Yvonne Lindo handled his business. I'm pretty sure Yvonne got about eight Grand Slams, if I'm not mistaken. Right? I don't think he made double digits. The double digits is only for the, the very super tennis royalty. But like I'm saying, let's put your brakes on. That's one reason. Because people have won the, the ATP Masters and have not went on to win Grand Slams. Or definitely not multiple Grand Slams. That's why I'm putting your brakes on there. Another reason is, <clears throat> and here's one of them. Check this out. Now, I'm going to wait for that one. I'm going to give you the second reason. The second reason is they play in the best two out of three sets, right, which irks me. I don't think they used to do that. I, was, I didn't check to see when they started doing it. At big tournaments like this, men should not be playing the best two out of three sets, especially not in the final. You can play in those group phases, whatever, right? 
But how many times have you seen these guys lose two sets and come back and win five setters? Right? You got to keep your concentration for a long time. Now, a young guy is awesome a couple of sets, but then you wear him down in any sport. It's like, okay, you got me. Boom, boom. You're boxing. Boom, boom, boom. But he get tired, right? Rope a dope him. Right? Muhammad Ali beat George Foreman in the biggest fight in, in boxing history, Rumble in the Jungle, by rope a dope him, letting him get tired. These these uh major players like Roger Federer and uh your boy Djokovic, they could have probably beat him in five. So if they play in the best two out of three, hmm. That's suspect to me. I don't think the uh, ATB Masters should have two out of three. Definitely in the semifinals and the finals. And definitely not the finals. Right? Maybe up until the semifinals. But definitely not the finals. It just should be. Right? If everybody's tired at that time of year, then schedule it differently. But you want that these major titles like this, these real super major titles like this, you want to play best three out of five because the best three out of five means the guy who is the best is also the fittest, right? Not just having a good run. So that's another reason why I'm not sure he's going to win uh, multiple titles. He might win one, two, but I'm not sure about multiple, even though he's awesome. And the third reason, and the main one is this. Rafael Nadal ain't never won one of these ATP Masters. Okay. That's, that's, I should live with that one, shouldn't I? Rafael Nadal has not won one. Okay? But that's what's up. At least from 2000 on up. I didn't see his name. I was looking the other day. Rafael Nadal has not won one of them. What? How many, rap, how many uh, Grand Slam Rafael Nadal got? 16, 17? No, Federer got 20. And Rafael got 17 Grand Slams, man. Okay, albeit like 10, or 10 of them. On, on, on clay, French Open. But they ain't like Rafael Nadal can't beat you in no cement. Now, we do know when they play on the inside, Rafael Nadal is not the same player he is on clay. Right? We do know that. But Rafael Nadal not getting one, that's one reason why, I, you know, whatever. That just means you good on this surface or something. Because Rafael got not one of these. So that's a big thing. So my point is, congratulations to Shreveliv. Alexander Shreya for winning uh, this tournament. It's going to give him confidence and things like that. And they got Lindo on his side. He's going to be top confident. But let's just not get ahead of ourselves when we get to the Grand Slam, especially at the um, Australian Open, because somebody's going to have to get past Djokovic. And another thing, Federer might not even be done yet here. Even though Federer hasn't looked good of late, which is, he still looked great. But it's, you know, Federer looks exceptional when he plays, right? So, you know, he's made it to the semifinals and lost to the guy who won the tournament. And he lost to him better, if I could say so, than Djokovic. He lost 7-6-7-6. Seven, six, seven, six. Djokovic lost 6-4-6-3. Six, six, so Federer's still in the mix. So when you get down in Australian Open, those are still going to be the guys you're going to have to get past. And there we're going back to three out of five in some heat. Let's see what happens there. But again, congratulations to Adam Schwedner. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm proud of you, y'all.